today I opened to our springs of Indian wisdom, our, our little um, affirmation of the day. Enjoy the pleasure bestowed on you and bear the pain bestowed on you. Wait patiently for what time brings, as does the farmer with the fruit. What a message of now and to be here in this moment where you can feel your breath come in and you can have contentment in your heart that you have a good good chunk of time in your morning to sit and breathe and be in community. <sighs> Eyes soft, just sitting calmly and listen to your breath. Let it smooth out, becoming fuller. Release tension, release pain, release sorrow. <sighs> and then gently tuck your chin to your chest, relax your shoulders down and really feel that gentle pulling, feel that release, and continue to breathe slowly and easily. Feel your feet pressing in, and then flip your palms up on your lap, this feeling of bringing some energy in. Shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed. And then chin up, face up. Scooch halfway forward on your chair and flip your hands down so that they're on your lap, feet pressing in. And from your feet into your knees, into your hips, just move a little bit back and forth. And let's actually bring our hands away from the body, a soft fist, as though you're holding a little springtime baby bird. Feel the twist through the hips, into the spine. You can go as slowly or as quickly as feels good. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale. Release. And then roll into the shoulders. Go one way. Feel your shoulder blades widen up and around your back. And around the other way. Take another open mouth exhale. Really feel that as a way to release congestion, stagnancy, and stiffness. And then arms come down to your sides and roll the palms open and closed. Slow and easy breath. Just continually moving here as a way to create some energy and some freshness in the body. Then roll your palms open, spread out through the fingers, and then curl the, the hands into a fist and do that a few times. Spread out through the fingers and curl the hands into a fist. Feel this energy release and this stretch through the palms, through the fingers. And then flip your hands down to your lap and let's move into the spine yet again. This time in cat-cow, hands pressing in nice and tall in your spine. Little tuck to your chin to really create that length through the back of your neck. 
and concentrating on moving as much of your spine as you can. Inhale, tailbone presses back, belly, heart, face, lift. And exhale, curl and round. Move slowly and feel this as a stretch for your muscles and a way to bring in space in your vertebrae. Inhaling, coming up, find some space. 33 vertebrae, 33 joints of the spine that have to find ease of movement and space. So keep going here with your breath, inhaling, find that little heart opening, back bend. Exhale, curl and round, find some space in your spine. Two more, relax your jaw. And then lift it back up into a tall spine, still halfway forward on your chair and hands back down to your sides, this time palms facing you. And then keep your spine nice and long and reach down side to side, starting reach down to the left and then back up and reach down to the right. Going for space in our spine still. So you're reaching for the ground, but you're still keeping a lot of space in your spine. Just side to side going as deep as it feels good, inhaling and exhaling. And then lift back to center, roll the shoulders one way, and then the other. And an open mouth exhale, release. Hands to your lap. And we'll lean forward, but keep your spine long. This is, this is where you really want to hold some spinal integrity. You're not slumping down. Don't, don't slump. But lean forward, keeping the spine nice and long. And then just reach your left arm forward and take slow, deep breaths and concentrate on breathing into the left side of your ribs. Keep your palm facing inward. One more breath. And then I'm gonna come back to front. Inhale, stretch your left arm forward and then reach over to the right. The hips stay solidly on the chair. And inhale back to center and exhale to the right like you're an elephant swinging its trunk. Find a little bit of space. One more. Support yourself, feet pressing in, that right arm supporting you, and then come back up. And relax the shoulders. And then halfway forward, just that little lean forward, spine stays long. And reach your right arm out, left hand supporting you, reaching forward toward the camera. Nice. And palm facing toward you. And just breathe space into the right side of your ribs. Reach, reach, reach. And then that little swing of the arm, reach over to the left and back to center and reach and come back and one more. Back to center and roll your shoulders.
Let's come back into cat cow and take it with an open mouth exhale. So for five rounds of breath, I want a big open mouth exhale as you curl and round into cat stretch or yes, cat stretch. And as you do that, squeeze your, your core together. Really feel a core engagement as though you're doing a little crunch, a yoga crunch. So hands on your knees, long spine and moving slowly. Inhale, find your cow pose, stretch up, stretch open. And open mouth, exhale, curl and round, get rid of all of the air and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the belly toward the spine. <sighs> Inhale, come up. And exhale all of your heat out. <sighs> Three more. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, open mouth. <sighs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Are you squeezing? Two more. <sighs> Back to center and roll your shoulders. And bringing focus down to our feet and legs here. Just go into a tiptoe and then uh, there you go, heel toe. There you go. Do a tiptoe and then a heel. Tiptoe, heel. And notice the heat that can really come up right away. And it just feel as though you're really bringing this lubrication and strengthening into the ankle joints, the ankle muscles, and all those connections. Even feel as though you're stretching into your toes, even if you're in shoes. Just feel this movement in your feet, your ankles, your shins, your calves. Oh. And then lift up to tiptoes, maybe tuck your toes under a little more and just take a few breaths there. Slow belly breath, shoulders relaxed. And relax the feet down. Slide back so that you're sitting against the back of your chair and can feel that support. And then relax your feet in front of you and kick the right leg up and go into those range of motion um, with the right ankle. And then let's, let's get a little bit of brain involvement. Go right ankle, left hand, and go outward circles. Try to concentrate here. I've done it wrong about four times as I was explaining how to do it. Outward circles with the right foot and left hand. And then inward circles, same, same hand and foot. Make sure you're breathing and not holding your breath. And relax down. Second side, left ankle, right hand, and outward circles. Trying to coordinate with either your actual eyes or if your eyes are closed, your mind's eye. Sometimes it's easier to do it with your eyes closed. You shut off all other uh, external noise and can concentrate on what your body is doing. 
outward circles with the left ankle and right wrist. And then switch direction, going inward circles. And then relax back down and move into the ankles a few times. Just release that work, maybe even shake out the hands. And feet press back down, hands press back down. And kick out with that right leg, flex through the heel. And then turn the toes out and then in as though you're windshield wiper. There you go. Try to spread out through your toes as you can. And feel that movement at the top of your thigh and the top of your leg there. Feel strong. And then kick in and out a few times, avoiding the floor. And right foot back down, left foot stretches out, flex the heel and back and forth. Try to keep the heel up and that movement going at the top of the thigh. And then kick the knee out a few times, or kick the foot out a few times, flexing that knee. And then both feet firmly on the ground. Sit down into your legs, sit back into your spine, and press the hands into your lap for a moment. Close your eyes and take a slow, deep inhale. Hold the breath in for three, two, one, and exhale in a sigh. And a few more times, a deep inhale. Hold the breath in, feel energized for three, two, one, and exhale in a sigh. Let it go. A few more. Inhale as deeply as you can. Hold the breath in, three, two, one, and exhale in a sigh. <sighs> Last two, this time as you inhale, squeeze your shoulders up to your ears, hug everything inward, hold the breath in, three, two, one, and exhale in a sigh, relax the shoulders. One more, inhale, squeeze everything in and up. Inhale as much as you can, hold it in. Three, two, one, and sigh. <sighs> Tuck your chin to your chest, feel long through the back of your neck and relaxed through your shoulders. And then flip your palms up and feel energy in the palms of your hands the length of your fingers. Maybe even noticing the subtle air flowing through the, through the room that you're in. Feeling it move in between your fingers and over your palms. Slow and easy breaths, feeling your body relaxed but your heart lifted and joy in your mind, joy in your heart. And if there's darkness there that needs to release pain or tiredness, just acknowledge it and let it go with an exhale. 
Coming back to this moment where you're at peace, where you have time, you have community. And just feel the sense of calm. And your choice here, you can keep your face and chin tucked, or you can gently lift back up past neutral and pause here. If you're in a room with a window, you can uh, turn your chair so that you're facing the window and just lift your face up, palms facing up, and just breathe slowly and calmly. This is a signal to the brain and the nervous systems to release tension and to embrace happiness and lightness. Just uplift yourself for a few brief moments of slow, easy breath. What are you grateful for today? And are you grateful for today? And start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And bring your hands to your heart in a gesture of gratitude. Palms pressing inward and you remember that uh, old movie, White Christmas, and they have that song, you should count your blessings instead of sheep. <laughs> Take a moment here. What are you grateful for? What is in your life? Even if it is just the four warm walls around you on a blustery day like today, what can you pull your awareness to that you are grateful for? And we'll end class with the sound of three ohms. You can join me out loud or silently. Inhale deeply. Oh. Oh.
Thank you for taking the time to take care of yourselves today. Namaste.